Now, fighting in the Kasai province of the Democratic Republic of Congo has displaced more than one million people. The situation is just one facet of the crisis in the country, with the United Nations humanitarian chief warning this week that 13 million Congolese need aid, including 2 million children already experiencing severe acute malnutrition. Viewers, Anita Powell has this report from the DRC. The smallest victims of a massive crisis in Congo's remote central Kasai province. Georgette is 14 months old, yet she weighs a mere 7 kilograms, far less than an average child her age. Medical workers say she is severely malnourished. Local militia clashed with government forces in Kasai province last year, turning Georgette and her family into refugees, far from their home and crops. We fled into the bush. She got sick. She couldn't eat. She had a cough. We were in the bush for six months. Georgette is but one of more than 50,000 children treated in the past year by the United Nations Children's Fund and other aid groups. UN agencies have asked for an unprecedented $1.7 billion for Congo, most of it for this region but they have received but a tiny fraction of that from donors. We estimate that 150,000 children were affected. So it's been very serious. A lot of people are still displaced. They cannot go back to their homes. They couldn't uh, go and do the planting season. They're hungry, they're in need, and they're desperate. Local health workers say they've never seen it so bad. The greater Kasai region, of three provinces the size of Germany, has never been well off. Even before the crisis, aid officials estimated that more than half of the children in this region were chronically malnourished. The conflict between an armed militia and the Congolese army, both of which are accused of committing heinous crimes, has pushed an already vulnerable population over the edge, locals say. If the international community brings us some support, it would make us happy and be a good help. At a WFP food distribution site in the village of Shikula, residents scrambled for meager rations of maize meal, beans, oil, and salt. The rations may save lives, but locals say they are still suffering. With students in a state of weakness, we are teaching them, but it's hard for them to follow. Even the teachers aren't in the mood to teach because they have empty stomachs. UNICEF warns that as many as 400,000 children under the age of five could die this year from acute malnutrition unless the agency gets the funds and the access to help. It's a difficult number to imagine, but for many of these mothers, those numbers mean little. What matters, they say, are nine-month-old Kabongo, 19-month-old Francois, 14-month-old Georgette, and countless, countless, countless others. Anita Powell, VOA News. Kananga, Democratic Republic of Congo.